Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to PGA Tour 2K21 live here on the channel. Today we are going to be checking out Inca's Edge GC. This one was designed by Lost Souls Forever and it is a fictional course situated on the cliffs of Peru. So as always everything is set at default, fairways are firm, greens are firm, green speed is fast. Let's check out the tee options. We do have four tee options. We are going to be playing from the black tees, which are playing 7,445 yards. So once again, I am sticking with the Mizuno um, irons. Really enjoying playing with them, actually, guys. I don't think they're the best irons out there in the game, but it is good to try out different clubs and equipment from time to time. So here we are, Inca's Edge GC, hole number one. Beautiful par four. Absolutely stunning scenery. You do have options off the tee box here. We are going to take the right hand side. I think that will leave us a far superior line of sight into this first green. So really good open and tee shot. Probably going to leave us nothing more than a nine iron into this first green. It's slightly elevated, 146 yards playing up 13 feet. It's a five mile per hour wind. It's actually going to be this eight iron. Just try to kick this up the slope and get it running up towards the flag stick. Firm fast greens will definitely need to leave this short and try and bounce it up towards the pin. Good strike. Should kick out firmly for us. Oh, it kicks hard right, but the yardage was very, very good. That is going to give us probably about a 10 foot putt for birdie. Nine feet. Green speeds are 180. Very little movement in this opening putt does track well and we do manage to drop that for an opening birdie so great start to this round but I do think this is this designer's third or fourth course design I'm sure he will correct me if I am wrong but hole number two dog leg left par four fairly short par four just try to take this down left hand side of this fairway looks like it's going to kick over to the left hand side nope kick more over to the right it should leave us to the pin. good line of sight once again into this green. 158 yards up three feet. Three mile per hour wind. We are on a slight downhill slope. It's going to move us to the left. So seven iron. Should Oh, it's a fast up. Probably going to miss the green left, you know. You like There's no one probably one. about it. It's definitely going to miss the green left and we are going to be in the heavy rough. Well, Let's see if we can chip this close. This Not the best of lies, but... Let me try and get the sand wedge releasing out on these first, first, these fast and firm greens. It's got a good line, has it got the legs? Just comes up short, but it should ensure we do have a tap in par, which we do convert, and we are going to remain at one under par. I think this is a delta theme, could be wrong, but look at this for a fantastic view. Look at that past the green. Unbelievable scenery here. So this par 3 downhill. Just going to loft this A iron up. Applied a touch of backspin. Once again, try to land the short of the pin. We get the perfect and hopefully it bounces out firmly. Oh, that is really carried out far too long. Wow, that ball really flew off the tee there. Amazed we got that carry. 27 feet long. But we do have a, a test and putt here, breaking both ways. Just going to favour the left edge of the cup here. Certainly going to turn the last few feet. Oh, that didn't turn at all as I expected it to over the first few feet. Wow. The way that ball broke has really took me by surprise, but we do tap in. Second birdie of the round, and we do stay at one under par. Hole number four. Oh, do we have enough club to make it over here? We should do. It is downhill. Options right once again if you cannot reach this left-hand side, but we comfortably can. Looking to set this down the right-hand side. The wind did get a slight fast there. Hopefully that's not going to affect us too much. And that should leave us probably a wedge into this green we have boomed that 330 yards 
130 for the yards, up 30 feet. Slightly in between clubs here, but we're going to have to loft up this 9 iron and maybe attempt the partial. Probably about 90%, I think, we're going to have to try and execute here. A lot of backspin. Slow part of feet is going to move us to the left. Just looking to land this. A little bit short of the flag stick. Oh, slight slow, but I'm hoping that's not going to affect us out too much. Should kick out for us. Nice favourable kick. And that is going to ensure a tap-in birdie from four feet for our second birdie of the round, which we do convert. So despite the slow there, the shot still worked out for us. Got a very favourable firm kick out. These greens are very, very responsive. So hole number five. Short par five, uh, par four, sorry, dog leg left. Hoping this wind does turn us. Due to the location of the green, probably going to have a, a fair bit of work to do yet to reach this green in two. 178 yards, down four feet, five mile per hour wind. Just going to fully loft this five iron, try and land it short right of the pin. With these firm fast greens, let this work its way up towards the flag sticks. A great strike. Should kick right, you know. That wind has really took me a lot more to the left than I allowed for. Yardage was actually really good. Absolutely amazed that ball went as hard left as that, though. Pin height. So birdie putt. 18 feet. A lot of movement in this from left to right. And these greens are really, really slick. Good weight on it. Is it going to turn enough? Is it going to turn? I'll oh, tell you what. Just missing the left edge of the cup. But we do tap that in for par. And we are going to remain at two under par. So far, I'm very enjoyable course, guys. Like I say, relatively new designer. He has designed this on the PS4, which is far more time-consuming compared to the PC. So kudos to these guys who put in a lot of time into designing these fantastic courses. Slight slow there, but we did get the partial. I do like how we've got plenty of options on some of the holes off the tee box, depending on what driver you're using. But this is a beautiful looking par 5. This 5 wood should be perfect. Just try to take this down the left hand side of the pin. Wind should blow us back a little bit, but green does turn from left to right up there. Slight fast, but the wind is trying to hold us in here. This should run out well for us. Should kick or start to turn to the right here. It is going to give us a look at Eagle. And that has worked out really, really well. Very happy with that approach shot, despite the fast. So a 15-foot putt. This is turning from left to right. It's holding its line well, and I tell you what, what a fantastic eagle putt that is. And with that, we do move to four under par. But each and every single hole is absolutely stunning, guys. Look at this waterfall, wow. Absolutely stunning. Really like the way he's designed that. Stepping down the rocks into this island green. 183 yards down, 23 feet. This club should just be about perfect, almost. Let's look at how the green is turning. Not a lot of movement in the green. So just taking this right-hand side of the flag stick. Oh, it's a slow. That is going to be short right now. That will leave us a fair amount of work to do. This will not be the easiest of putts we've left our cell here. This is going to be a testing putt. Good job. We're on the green. So, 38 feet. Up four inches, huge turn from right to left here. We've not read that as well as we could have. It is going to miss on the left-hand side. Weight was really good. Okay, this one is for the par. This is such a scenic course, guys. Each hole seems to be very unique. No chance of a uh, repetitive holes here. Hole number eight. Long par four. Just looking to avoid this bunker on the right hand side. Should be able to carry the left hand side of it. We do get the perfect. 
Hopefully this doesn't kick too far left. Really nice kick out there. And that is going to leave us on that pill approach shot. And this is somewhere around into this 8th green. Out. I think 8 iron has enough legs to get there. Just going to deal off this a touch. Ball is going to move hard left here with the slow part of feet. Let's take this over to the left hand side. This should be all over this pin. This should run out well. Green should kick over to the right hand side. Oh, what a bounce. Very firm bounce once again. And that has actually probably went about 15 feet past the hole. 12 feet. These greens are so, so fast, guys. And extremely firm. But we do convert that 12 foot putt. And with that, we move to five under par with one hole to play. On the front nine. It's a fairly short par four. Look at this like canyon down here on the right. Where does that take you? Let's have an overhead look. Oh, it's not as deep as I uh, first thought. Cool bridge taking you over that um, dorge, you may want to call it. But gonna have to come down to the three hybrid here. And hopefully leave a pitch and wedge into this green. But really like the layout and the planting of this course. Such an enjoyable round. 117 yards, up 14 feet. Four mile per hour wind. It's going to apply a touch of deal off here. This ball should land short of the pin. And hopefully sit down fairly quickly. It's another good strike. Should bounce out. Is it going to sit? Nope, didn't sit down as quickly as I would have liked. It's actually ran on a fair bit. Probably didn't need that touch a deal off there but very makeable putt from 12 feet not a lot of movement in this just going about half a cup to the right of the hole it's got a good line good weight and we do pick up birdie number six or should i say birdie number four because we have had one eagle so one eagle four birdies on the front nine six under par once again we do have options here on the 10th tee I think the best line of sight is going to be over to the right hand side. Fairway should kick over to the left, so setting this down, left hand side of this right sided fairway. Wind will take its round, but hopefully that does kick over to the left hand side. It's another good tee shot. A lot of work to do here on this par 5, but let's see if we can kick this driver on. I'm confident we can just carry that bunker and maybe land this at the front of the green ball will move slightly to the left here it's a great strike oh stay up stay up is it going to kick on it is going to kick on we're not going to get near the flag it's going to leave us a lengthy putt for eagle there 47 feet so unlucky there a next a yard in the air and that would have Potentially kicked on further from landing on the green. Breaking both ways here. Oh, I've really under hit that by the way. I have really under hit that putt. We are going to have a nasty putt for birdie here. From 10 feet. It is going to break from right to left. That's criminal how short I left that putt. Needs to turn. Oh, it does turn. And that is a fantastic recovery putt for our fifth birdie. And we do move to seven under par. But this is a fantastic looking course, guys, that is going to reward good play. We do manage to achieve the perfect. Should run out really, really well here for us on these firm fairways. You are getting a lot of run out from the tee box, so 137 yards, once again in between clubs here, so just going to have to try and play the partial, lofting this up, fully applying backspin with the wind and the light, our feet ball is going to move from left to right, slight fast, may actually work out in our favour, we did get the partial, yardage should be great, if we just avoided that fast, that ball would have been a lot closer to the flag stick, but 10 foot, I'll give this putt a good bit of attention here. 
It is going to turn from right to left. Like I've said, these green greens are really, really slick, but it does turn beautifully right into the center of the cup. Birdie number six, just like John said there, and we do move to eight under par. Hole number 12. Ooh, I don't think we can play driver here. Don't want to go past the, the line of sight of the flag, so just going to try the partial with the three wood. Try and stay in line with this flag stick. Our approach shot will be across the water. Well, that tee shot looks like it'll do. That is going to work out perfectly. Once again, the waterfall is off there in the distance. Okay, about 230 yards. A little float on island green. So still a lot of work to do here. Some of these par 4 um, sound short yardage-wise off the tee box, but due to the, the layout and the design of the course, you're not being able to hit driver, you are leaving yourselves a lot longer approach shots into these greens. It's going to be a little bit long. But happy with that. We're up on the dance floor, got a putt for birdie. That's a safe shot. Okay, like I did say at the start of the video, fictional course. We are meant to be on the the cliff tops of Peru here. But some of the views from the the elevated holes looking down into the, the Peru Valley is absolutely phenomenal. And like I say, this is one of this designer's early courses. I think it's his third or fourth course to my knowledge. It could be completely wrong. But it's such a well designed course, guys. Certainly worth a play. Once again, options. Imagine the only way you're going to take that on the right hand side is if um, the wind or you're just not confident off the tee box. Slight slope, shouldn't affect us too much. Getting a lot more confident and uh, consistent with his partial shots. Certainly not wanting to leave myself a pitch shot. It's worked out perfectly. Don't want to be left at this pin. That ball's got the the chance to really disappear off that slope. So Sam Wedge lofted up, applying backspin, allowing this wind to take us round. Let's see if we can get this sitting down quickly. We've got the perfect yardage-wise. This should be beautiful. Should actually spin back a touch. We did generate a good bit of spin. And we are looking a six-foot putt for birdie, which we do convert and we do move to nine under par. Very happy with how this round is going so far. I don't think it's the most challenging of um, courses, guys, but I just seem to be in between clubs, especially with the firm, fast greens, and you're just having to improvise with a few shots. There's a slight slope. May kick left. It does kick left. We're not going to get near the pin, though. And that is going to leave us Probably about a 12 foot putt, 14 feet. Once again, breaking both ways. Just favoring the right edge of this 14th hole. Is that going to turn back? No, it didn't turn back. Poor putt there. But we do convert the three foot putt for par. And we are going to remain at nine under par with four holes to play. So only one par five in the back nine, which we've already played. But hole. Number 15. Ooh, gonna have to try and play the partial tee shot here once again. Really reluctant to leave anything other than full wedges into these greens. But once again, another successful partial shot with a driver. And that should be just about 100 yards, I would imagine. 135 yards, 6 mile per hour wind. Once again, just in between clubs, so really going to have to loft up this 9-iron. Try and get a slight partial as well with a backspin. Nope, we got the 100%. I think that's going to be a little bit long here. It is definitely going to kick out far. We are slightly long. But only looking about 6-foot putt here, 5-foot putt. Some of our approach shots, guys, with these firm, fast greens have been really, really good today. And I'm sure you guys who do play the game appreciate that when you start playing with a loft and the attack angle of the club face, 
on the master settings or the master difficulty, that's when things become a lot more tougher. But I would say the majority of these holes have had options. I'm going to take the right hand side here with the three wood. Just going to play the partial once again. Won't avoid these bunkers on the left hand side. We do get slight partial. Oh, that ball sat down really quickly there. Could have probably went um, driver there and still left a, a wedge. This is a tough approach shot. Uphill 22 feet. Just going to deal off this 8 iron. Certainly don't want to land this right. But wind and the lie at our feet should comfortably take us over to the left hand side. We get the perfect. That ball's not moving left at all. Oh, that is going to come all the way off the green here, possibly. Cannot believe that wind and the slope didn't turn us. Okay, here's our so, shot. splash shot from the fringe. 18 yards out, we've got the perfect club with the lob wedge splash. Try to spin this back. Might go a little bit past the pin. Let's see if we can spin it back. Slight slope. Didn't generate any spin. Okay, for the save. So, we do have a six-foot putt for the part. Breaking from this one's left to right, right into the heart of the cup once again. And we are going to remain at 10 under par with two holes to play. But this course is certainly worth a play, guys. Get out there, play it. Very enjoyable round of golf here. Some stunning views. Layout of the course is really, really good. Slight slope. Do you know what? I don't think we had to play the partial there. With a slightly uphill fairway, I think we could have fully played the driver and just used all of that fairway. So once again, it's a longer shot in, but I think three high, but I'm just going to apply a touch of topspin here. This should run all the way up to the flag if we get the perfect. We do get the perfect. This should track well. It should most definitely have the legs to get there. Look at the run out here. And that's slightly uphill. It just shows you how responsive and how firm these greens are. But what a fantastic golf shot that is. And that is going to reward our ninth birdie of the round. Nine birdies, one eagle. And we are 11 under par going into the final hole of this beautiful golf course, guys. Ooh, bunkers everywhere here. So just taking this down. The center. Oh, there's a fast. That could well be in this left-hand side bunker here. Pot bunker. And I think by the looks of things, this could be a difficult approach shot. This green is well guarded. We're going to have a horrible stance, horrible lie. Six mile per hour wind, 125 feet. It's actually not a bad lie. I think we can just about make the, the front of the green here. Ball's going to move hard right at our feet. We get the perfect... That has not came out as well as it suggested at all. So bunker to bunker. Let's see if we can splash this close and walk away with a par save. 11 yards out. Can be fairly aggressive with this one. Is it going to run out? It did run out. We weren't just anywhere near the cup to get that hole in, in from the bunker. But we do pick up the par. That is an 11 under. 60. I'm very, very happy with that round, guys. Really good course, by the way. Get out there and play it. Stunning views. Love the layout of the course. And it does reward good shots. But that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will leave you guys with a round stats. But until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.